Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at helping you to get much better timing with your golf swing and to stop rushing that downswing. That is the big thing. A lot of people will come and see me so they feel the swing just out of sync and they feel really rushed on that downswing. So let's go and have a look at how to help you get much better timing on that downswing to stop rushing it with some more game changing golf coaching. and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. So with today's um, video golf tip, I'm gonna help you if you feel you're rushing that downswing. Uh, and it's something that a lot of people that I work with will come into the studio and say, you know, they can just feel it's really quick. It just, it just doesn't feel right to them. Um, and so what we've got to look at here is your sequencing and the order that you're moving in on that downswing and please remember to hit the subscribe button and click notifications we release two videos every week they're all geared up to help you get better at golf and to enjoy the game more when you're next out on that golf course now if you're feeling that your downswing is really really quick and you feel like you're rushing your downswing you're getting to the top and then you're starting your downswing by moving from the upper body first and if you start to accelerate the movement in the upper body accelerate the arms accelerate the club all the speed goes into the club head when the club heads relatively high compared to the ball and in the first part of that downswing so you've accelerated the club head too early and then you get to the ball and you've got nothing left to kind of inject into the ball with the arms and the upper body because the lower body will have to stall in a way to allow the upper body to try and get the club head back to the ball. So that would see you really turning the upper body first, throwing the arms away from you and towards the ball. Club head's got a lot of speed in it early and then you're having to guide the club back in uh, to the ball to hit and it will feel very very out of sync because you're not able to uh, inject the speed into the club head as you go through the ball so to stop you rushing that downswing what we've got to do is get you moving in a better sequence in a better order and what we want to do here you're going to swing to the top and as the club starts to approach the top just before it changes direction we need to get you rotating the lower body towards the target, get you pressuring more into your left side so that your knees, your pelvis can rotate towards the target and then the upper body can follow that. So then the rib cage can turn, that'll turn the chest and then you can put the power into your arms and then into the club. So the last area to receive speed in your downswing would be the club head and we want that happening as you go through so it'll feel like you've got a lot more time because you're not putting the speed into the club head initially you're getting your body into position to hit that movement through your body is going from your lower body up through your upper body out through the arms and then finally into the club head when you deliver uh, the connection with the ball so it'll make you feel like you've got a lot more time because the club head is receiving the speed later in that downswing. So again, what we want to do is go up to the top, start to pressure into that lower body, uh, pressure into that left foot, lower body rotating. So we're getting into this position. We've got the pelvis rotated towards the target, but the chest and the upper body haven't yet released. And then once we're at this position, so you've made that movement first, then you can power through with the upper body, the arms and the club. So getting that sequence correct will make you feel much less rushed on that downswing and it'll get you hitting much better golf shots. So work on that sequencing. I've put a few links into the video as we've gone along uh, so that you feel uh, like you've got much more time to generate power. You're not putting the speed and the power into that club 
initially on that downswing. You're getting your body into position. You're holding that club back a little bit more until you've got to the ball. And then you power through with the arms and the golf club. But it'll certainly make you feel less rushed on that downswing. It'll really help your sequencing and your timing. It's another game changing golf tip. Yeah.